What's up guys and welcome back to part 9 of this Mercedes Mobility Minibus Campervan Conversion. So parts 1 to 8 are all documented on my channel so far and that involves everything from stripping the bus down to a bare chassis, building it back up with new flooring, new insulation, new headlining and I've started building the rear separating dividing walls that are going to separate the bedroom off from the kitchen and living area as well. Now in the last episode I just uh, finished creating the dividing walls but I didn't have any ply to start ply lining the walls themselves and the walls need to be ply lined before I can then start to fully assemble out the uh, the bathroom shower tray and the kitchen area things like that as well. So as you can see I've had a little delivery of plywood so I'm going to get some of these sheets cut down get them stuck to the dividing walls that separate the bedroom from the living area as well. Once they're cut down and fitted into shape, hopefully I'll be able to get the rest of the bathroom area framed out as well, at least with the other wall created as well. If we get that done, I might even then be able to start on with some of the kitchen or some of the cladding as well. We'll see. We'll see how we get on for this weekend's work. But, as I say, at least I've got a few materials so I can start now crack on and do a few more bits and bobs. So I'm going to get some tools out, some safety gear out, get some of these... Sh uh, plywood sheets cut down and we'll see how far we get on with this episode and I say if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes of this build just have a look at my channel it's all documented job by job so as I say I'll get some safety gear out some tools out get cracked on and see how much we get done for the day
Right, so it's the following day. Yesterday I finished doing all of the internal walls. So that's the wall for the bathroom, both sides fully done, fully boarded over as well. Obviously they still need the waterproof shower boarding to be fitted inside, but that's all going to come at a later date when I've been able to manage to actually get some. I've encapsulated all of the insulation on all of the rear wall boards as well. So this has all fully insulated inside and the fully encapsulated over with the plywood. And everything inside here is then going to get full cladding, timber cladding all the way through. I've been out and I've bought 10 packs of cladding as well as some more CLS timbers. So today I'm going to be cracking on, doing a bit more in the bedroom at the back area. I'm going to start creating the frame for the bed frame. Now I'm going to be doing a slightly different bed in this build than the last one. This uh, bed in this build is going to have more of a U-shaped bed. It's still going to be a full double size bed when it's made up into the bed. But it's going to act more as a sofa bed rather than just a double bed. So as I say there's going to be a full cutout going across on all the corners. All the way around. And then there'll be a slide out board to make it into a bed. But it does mean because this bus is going to have additional seats. Seat belted seats. It's going to give a little bit more additional space just to be able to sit down, chill out. If there's more than two people, it's going to give plenty of ample seating. As well as the sofa bed that's also going to be going there as well. But as I say, today, now I'm just going to start cracking on and try and get some of the frame for the bed built. I doubt I'm going to get the bed finished today. But as I say, at least it'll still be a good weekend's work of getting all of the walls done and the frame of the bed done as well. So I'll crack on, get some safety gear back out, some tools back out, some CLS timbers back out and get them all cut down and we'll see how, how much we get done for today as well. So we'll pick it up when it's all ready to start going in. Right guys, so that's pretty much the bed frame fully complete now. 
Obviously it needs all of the top boards putting on, but the frame itself is fully constructed and fully sturdy as well. I've been bouncing up and down on all of the beams going across. None of them are going anywhere at all. And by the time all the plywood's on top as well, that would also give it another additional sturdiness to it as well. So that'll do it for this weekend's update. As I say, I've got all of, the, uh, all of the dividing walls fully encapsulated in, built these additional bathroom wall, and as I say, got the full bed frame for the rear bed area all built and constructed as well. So that's not a bad couple of days work. There's going to be plenty more updates to come on this channel as well. Probably the next video will be finishing off the bed, possibly moving on to some of the cladding as well. Either that or I might start getting some of the electrics in because some of the electrics will be getting fitted underneath this bed area as well. But I'll probably get that cladded out first. But we'll see. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Pop back next week. Hopefully there'll be another update. I should hopefully be getting back to weekly updates now as well. And if you haven't seen all of the previous conversion work so far, have a look at my channel. It's all documented job by job on my channel there as well. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up, especially if you made it all the way through to the end of the video as well. As it really does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't, and hopefully I'll see you next week on next week's update on this campervan conversion minibus project. Thanks for watching. Cheers.